What's up guys, Mr. Parker here. I just got back from Cinema Wasteland this morning. Uh, well, this afternoon. I was there Friday, uh, left with 800 bucks, came back with 350, so I got quite a haul. Uh, it was a really fun time. I'd never been to a convention. It was my first convention. Uh, I really loved it. Got to say, uh, I got to say hi to Ronk and Rick from Slasher Club and Louis C. Justin from Massacre Video. Cool guys. Uh, talked to some of the celebrities there or you know like Shelby Vogel was really nice to the toe tag picture and uh, I got Savini's autograph not really an autograph collector it was really fun though I'll show you guys what I got uh, first we got the Cinema Wasteland shirt it's pretty cool City of Living Dead on the front zombie on the back then I got a, uh, a cool Hellraiser shirt guy did his own self did like the artwork pretty cool shirt then I got a uh, August Underground baseball tee they did these themselves, it's pretty cool. And of course I got a Masker Video shirt. Damn cool shirt. I got some little pins, shockwaves, Texas Chainsaw, Eternally Dead, Witchfinder General, and Clockwork Orange. A couple little cards here that thrown at me. And uh, let me hop into the DVDs. I got a crap load of DVDs. Uh, five bucks. I never seen this. Code Red release. Uh, I think it's out of print actually. So five bucks was a good deal. Fabulous journey to the center of the earth. Then we got uh, October Moon. Five bucks. Haven't seen it. See some sort of gay slasher. I figured why the hell not five bucks. Then we got this crazy movie. Uh, I went to Forty Second Pete table and I bought forced entry and he said this one was good if you uh, like that kind of stuff and I figured forced entry looked good this one looks better actually looks damn cool it's only 15 bucks so I got another cheapy evil spawn five bucks John Carradine's in that crap pass so Bill's Bub's table stopped and got Night of the Pumpkin uh, <laughs> looks kind of funny then I got a uh, bazaar from Synapse Films it was 10 bucks pretty good deal so then uh, we got karaoke tear from them this one they said was really good so it looks fun cool stuff I can't go wrong with their company it's the best company uh, this director was talking about this his movie Abe's Tomb so I grabbed that too why not uh, he's, he was a cool guy he was I think he's the producer or director maybe both yeah he's both he's a really nice guy so I bought it then we got five bucks killing spree the retro media edition Tim Ritter then I got four bootlegs that I probably shouldn't have bought, but the guys were super cool. Incredible Melting Man. Looks fun. Highway to Hell. The print looked pretty damn good, so I grabbed it. Rolling Thunder and Cellar Dweller. This looks hilarious. And what else do we got? Uh, cheapy. Dirty Cop No Donut. Five bucks. This one looks crazy. Period. Looks insane. I love the cover. That's why I got it. Uh, Midnight 2, Sex, Death, and Videotape. I have the first one. Enjoy the first one. I, don't know, I thought Lawrence Tierney was, like, you know, dead after the first one. I don't even think he's in that one. I think it's got to be a flashback for sure. I can't see him being in that one. Then we got Bite Me. It says 10, but I only paid 5. Looks like cheesy fun. Then we got this. I'm um, the happiness of the Katakaras. Uh, zombie comedy thing by Takashi Miki. Mike, Miki, however you say it. This looks cool. Never goes down price, so I grabbed it. Got a couple traumas. Killer condom, one I never had, wanted to see. And another one I never had, which I never got to see either. Cannibal the Musical, the special edition. Uh, coming close to the end of the DVDs. Uh, this little sucker's out of print here. It's the Savage Cinema from Down Under, three disc. It was only 10 bucks, so I grabbed it. Subversive. It comes with Defenseless, uh, Marauders, and Sensitive New Age Killer, so why not? Then we got Chainsaw Sally here, five bucks, why not? I heard uh, the guy at the table said this one was good, Birth of Frank. And I got Binge and Purge by the director of Meat Market 1 and 2. Uh, I also got a couple more DVDs over here. Of course I grabbed uh, Force Entry, 15 bucks. Nice little roughy, I've never seen the whole thing, I've seen parts of it. It's pretty intense. Five bucks, all the ladies do it, called Epics, I don't know if it's any good or not, Tino Brass. Savage Harvest 2. I like Savage Harvest 1, so boom, why not? And last but not least, Assault, the UK edition. 10 bucks, why not? Brand new. And that's all for my DVDs. I do have some VHSs here. Let me show you guys. Not too many VHSs, but enough. I got uh, Blood Moon. Funny thing is, I think I, these were all probably Rick's. 
and I just bought them out of this box, but Blood Moon, it's $5, why not? Uh, tear on Alcatraz, beat the shit, but five bucks I'll watch, I'll, why not? This one I, I always wanted to see, it's uh, Carpenter, $5, the unrated edition. I always remember the case as a kid. Another one, I, I actually seen this one, this one I enjoy, Blood Salvage. You got John Saxon at Vander Holyfield. John Saxon's got a pretty decent size role in it. This is a cool one. Looks like a Texas Chainsaw rip off. And Who Done It? Looks like a little fun slasher. Maybe it's a shit fest. Do I care? No. And then we got uh, we got good old Tom Savini's autograph here. Classic. I want the classic picture. I just had to get an uh, autograph from Savini. I walked up and I didn't want to say like, I love your work, because I mean, I'm sure he's heard it a million freaking times. So I, was just, I walked up, I grabbed the picture, I said, uh, this one will do. And he said, God bless. And I said, God, I'm going to go with the classic. And then I said uh, something along the lines of, I think it'd be, uh, I'm like, it'd be blasphemy to go to a convention and not get Savini's autograph. And he said, I agree. Pretty funny. And then I got a, picked up an ultraviolet magazine. Why not? It's cheap. I thought it was cool. And from a buddy of mine, big Vincent Price fan, I grabbed this for him. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, that's my Cinema Wasteland update. Uh, I had a great time. We'll probably be going in October, October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, or one of a couple of those days. I loved it. Uh, I loved what I got. Uh, have a good one. Bye, guys.